my brother-in-law is a minor operator in there. Who is that? How did you I'm hear not, about I'm, this? I'm not. Uh, my sister-in-law called me this morning about oh, 15, 20 after 8. What? Said they had heard on the scanner there was an explosion at the mine. So uh, my wife, who's married to Marty's uh, sister, you know, we got up and rushed and ran to their house to see what we could find out. And, uh, it's just been, uh, you know, we've been out here since oh, probably 8.30 this morning or so. Uh, she, she jumped in bed for some reason. Uh, we have a friend in there, his name's Fred Ware. He lives the next house up across from the church, and he's still trapped in there. Well, I just want to say that it's it's a sad day, and it's a sad day for West Virginia because, as you all know, we, as West Virginians, all feel this pain. And um, we uh, just, our prayers are really going out to the families at this time. And I know that when the governor is trying to get here as quickly as he can to go speak to the families, I know that's the first place he wants to go. Uh, at 6.31 a.m. this morning, uh, the power went out at the mine. Uh, shortly thereafter, at about 6.40 p.m., uh, the surface received a call from the one left section that indicated that they had lost power and that something had happened and that they were leaving the mine. At that time, our mine superintendent began heading underground to investigate. Uh, he also, uh, as he was underground, he told the uh, dispatcher to begin the notification process. Um, after communications with the mine superintendent from underground, uh, Within a few minutes after going underground, uh, we began to understand uh, that something serious had happened, and immediately efforts began uh, to contact MSHA and the state regulatory agencies in accordance with our, our process.